Welcome everyone, my name is Steve Weber. I'm the Global MSP Sales Engineer and today we're gonna to look at setting up synchronized security. First, let's start with what is synchronized security. Synchronized security is the ability for the Sophos Central Endpoint to establish a heartbeat communication between the Central Endpoint and the XG firewall. This is used to relay threat data and application insights. This allows the XG firewall to know the status of the Sophos Central endpoints, automatically revoking internet access, access to your servers, and notifying all of the other Sophos Central endpoints to deny connectivity from that isolated endpoint, preventing lateral movement. This also enables synchronized application control, which allows the firewall greater insight into what applications are being used by the Sophos Central endpoints that might otherwise be classified as generic HTTP or HTTPS traffic. Okay, let's get started. We're currently in the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard. From here, you'll want to navigate to Sophos Central Customers. Once your Sophos Central customers load, find the customer that you want to create synchronized security with. In this case, we're going to use Stephen Weber Lab 4. Select that central admin customer and launch the Sophos Central admin console. This will launch the customer's Sophos Central admin console in a new tab. You'll be welcomed if this is the first time entering with the product setup screen. We're gonna go ahead and close that. And from here, we're gonna to want to go into people. As you can see, I have no people set up currently for the Sophos Central customer. What we're going to need is a Sophos Central either super admin or Sophos Central admin for this customer directly. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and select add and add user. From here, we're gonna fill out the information. I'm going to use Steve Lab as my user and we are going to select a role for that. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and use admin. The super admin simply allows that user to change and modify role-based administration. It is not needed for the synchronized security. We're going to fill in our email address for that particular user. This does have to be a valid and unique email address. This cannot be an email address that has been used on any other Sophos Central admin customer. We're gonna go ahead and hit save. And at this point, it's gonna go ahead and send a welcome email to that mailbox. Let's check my mailbox for this particular user. And we're gonna see we have our welcome to Sophos Central Steve Lab email. If we open up this email, we are gonna see there's an option to set up your password. What you're gonna to want to do first before going ahead and clicking on the set up my password is inside of the Sophos Central admin that we are already logged into. Go ahead and at the top right hand side, click log out. We want to do is we want to make sure that we're not logged in with any other users. We don't want to have anything confused in the system and we can simply close this tab. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the setup password. And this is going to prompt me to set up a brand new password for my Steve lab at my test lab us account. I'm going to go ahead and apply my password to this, making sure that you meet all the minimum criteria. And once we hit submit on there, this will take a second and it's going to launch us into the Sophos Central admin account as this user. Again, we're going to see the exact same screen that we have up on there. Uh, this one happened to launch me into the Sophos Central firewall manager. If we click back to overview, we're going to see that we now have access to the console. If we click on people, we can now see we have Steve Weber lab with his email address set up in an admin role. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is launch into our XG firewall. 
I have this open up in another tab. This is my XG firewall that we are going to connect to our synchronized security. In the XG firewall along the left hand side, you will see central synchronization, which is already set up. From here, we're gonna go ahead and open up our XG firewall. On inside of the XG firewall, we're gonna go ahead along the left-hand side and click on central synchronization. You're gonna be prompted with an option inside of here to register. This registration, if we click on this, is gonna ask us for an email address and password. That email address and password is the email and password we just set up to access this Sophos Central admin account. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my username and password here, and we're gonna select register. This will take a couple of seconds to establish communication to the Sophos Central console. And at this point, it'll then prompt us for the security heartbeat and the synchronized application control. We can see that uh, the synchronized security heartbeat is enabled and our synchronized application control is enabled as well. If you were going to set up the Sophos Central uh, management inside of Sophos Central Admin, you would also enable that from here as well. We will save that for another video. If we come back to our Sophos Central Admin and we go under Global Settings and Registered Firewall Appliances, you'll see the XG Firewall. It will have the serial number as the name, the IP address that it's coming from, and it will denote that yes, it is active in the system. All of your endpoints that are behind there, as long as there is a synchronized security firewall rule set up, will now be able to communicate to Sophos Central, to the XG firewall, and relay any threat information and application info needed. Now that we have synchronized security enabled, we'd have to apply the synchronized security policy in a firewall rule. So from here, we're gonna go into our firewall, we're going to go ahead and add a brand new firewall rule. This one's going to be our LAN to WAN rule. We're going to select this coming from the LAN, any source going to the WAN. We're not going to worry about where it is actually going to currently. And when we scroll down, you're going to see a synchronized security section. What you're going to do is select the minimum source heartbeat permitted for going to the internet. In this case, you may want to make sure all endpoints are in a good green heartbeat status. You may decide that a yellow status, a warning on an endpoint, does not need to have it blocked from getting out to the internet. Selecting yellow would be your minimum. Anything red would not be allowed to use this rule. Yellow would be allowed to use this rule. Make sure you're very careful before selecting the block clients with no heartbeat. This is great if you have a highly segmented network. If you have a single LAN root in your environment, uh, everything running through, chances are you're gonna have printers, you're gonna have mobile phones. These devices do not yet have a security heartbeat and would have no way of checking in. Therefore, they would be denied getting out to the internet using this rule. So make sure that you take caution before implementing this block clients with no heartbeat. To show you the last component here, the synchronized application control, we're gonna go over to a current firewall that is in use. You can see here I have one endpoint that is currently connected to synchronized security. But what we're gonna do is take a look at the synchronized application control. When we click on synchronized app control, it'll bring us into the applications and synchronized app control section. From here, it's going to show you any new applications that are existing in the environment. We don't have any new applications, so what we're gonna do is take a look at all the applications in here. And what you'll notice is something you will not see in a normal firewall is it gonna be the path of the actual application in the environment. In this case, this is coming from a MacBook, and as we can see below here, this is coming from a Windows device. So you're seeing the actual executable, and for the Mac, the actual app that is generating the particular traffic. 
We are gonna do our best to classify that traffic automatically. If we cannot, it will be put into a synchronized app control discovered category. We'll let you know how many endpoints we've seen this traffic on, this application, and how many occurrences, as well as the last occurrence of that. From here, you can go in and customize this to your liking. If we want, we can change the name of this particular application, and we can change the application category. If this is simply just network services or generic applications, we can go ahead and apply that to here. That way it is correctly categorized inside of your reporting. This was a quick look at synchronized security and getting it set up inside of your environment. I hope you found this helpful. Look forward to more videos here in the future. Thanks.